Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, JMOLS with JMOLS Gaming, back here with another episode of the JMOLS Gaming Weekly Recap for the week of August 30th to September 5th, 2020. We are back here with more of the general gaming recap, where I talk about the games I've been playing this week and any gaming related topic I wish to discuss. So, I've been playing five games this week. Modern Warfare, The World of Warcraft, PTR, Warcraft 3, Reforged, Final Fantasy XIV, and Persona 4 Golden. So, let's talk about them. Starting with Modern Warfare. So, I've been getting back into Modern Warfare recently because I've been wanting to play more FPS games, especially for the channel, because I enjoy them. I've been, I have gotten away from FPS for the longest time just because Halo and Modern Warfare were, and Call of Duty really weren't really doing for me for multiple years. Like there was a big stretch where it just wasn't doing anything for me. But I've been enjoying Modern Warfare with the new maps have been adding since this launch. Some of the new weapons they've added. I've been actually enjoying Warzone quite a bit with my with a buddy of mine. Got a Warzone video coming up on the channel next couple of weeks that I've been hinting at for a little bit now. But yeah, I've been enjoying Modern Warfare. My, the biggest complaint I have about the game is that the is that the original maps for the game are still in the map pool. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem because I've really come off of those maps, like all of them really. Like maybe the cave one is my the one I don't mind the most, but Still, it's like, ugh. They're just, I think Ackman said it best, I think he was actually quoting someone else, that they w are kind of formless. There's just so many angles from which they can attack you from, that it just kind of gets annoying. But some of the newer maps are pretty cool, like I li they have this oil rig map, which I think is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, where are we going? Uh, over there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they have this oil rig map that's pretty cool. They have quite a few new maps that I quite enjoy. But I also really enjoy Shoot House. Like, I wish there was just a playlist separate for Shoot House. Because it's really fun. Also, I like to use it just like... Reacquaint myself with PC controls, aiming, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I've been enjoying Modern Warfare. There's not really much else to talk about. Because I've been kind of talking about with the... Videos I've been putting up for Modern Warfare, especially in the multiplayer. So I'm going to just kind of leave it at that and move on to the World of Warcraft PTR. Again, Shadowlands is coming. We have less than two months, and I'm going to be talking about that for the topic of the video. But I need to find something I enjoy class design-wise. Because there wasn't much in BFA that I actually really enjoyed. I kind of stomached Fury, even though it's a spec I think was too simple for me. My preference, but... I played it just because I didn't enjoy nor want to bother with leveling anything else. I'm going to move away from the warrior for Shadowlands. I'm almost certain about that. But I've been enjoying Rogue and Deathlet to some degree. I don't know which one I'm going to main. I feel like if I just get more gear with the Death Knight, I'll probably enjoy it a bit more, especially considering I can tank on the thing. But Rogue's been a ton of fun. Like I said this in the video I put out about class design for Shadowlands. I enjoyed playing on a target dummy with the sub rogue more than I did enjoy that more than I enjoyed playing Fury Warrior throughout all of BFA. I don't know, it just I have no idea what I'm what to think about Shadowlands. I don't know for cuz it's probably easily the the expansion I'm least I've ever been let me follow a proper sentence. It's probably the expansion I've been least excited about throughout my entire tenure of World of Warcraft. I don't know if that's because of what Shadowlands is offering, or I've just been enjoying Final Fantasy XIV so much more. I definitely feel like I'm coming up to the point where I'm like, I want to just pick one of these games, and I don't want to play the other. And I'm starting to think WoW might be the sacrificial lamb in that point for that. I don't know though, because I've played WoW for like 10 years at this point, it's hard just like walk away. I quit doing BFA for like the first time ever, just cause, you know, BFA was dog crap. Like worse than Ward in my opinion. At least Ward had good class design. And a lot of like varied and interesting zones. Also Ward's story I would argue is better than BFA's. Like, 
Ward barely had a story, but the story that was there was all right. Had good characters, again, what BFA really didn't have that much outside of, like, say, Tavonda and Jaina. And Andor, and I'd argue. Maybe Talia as well. But yeah, let's move on to... I'm going to be talking about WoW more so later on, so let's move on to Warcraft 3 Reforged. I have started to come off of this game quite significantly. One, it's just the fact that it's an older RTS, and there'll be many defendants of the whole pathing, which I've kind of been bringing up more and more as I play Warcraft 3, my playthrough of it. But it's just, as someone who really played Command and Conquer, I can understand the pathing. Like, the pathing is not the main issue for me. Like, I can get over that. But at the same time, it's like, I'm starting to come off of the whole Warcraft story. And that's why it might be the final nail in the coffin for me deciding not to play Shadowlands long term. Because, like, I always really loved the author storyline. And you can tell, I'm like, over halfway through the undead, first Undead campaign. And I'm really starting to come off the character of Office, and I think it's mainly because of the dialogue. I want to do more. I want to play it some more because I think Frozen Throne rescues the character and why I like Arthur so much. I'm almost certain it does, from what I remember of Frozen Throne. But it's like. He's like. a less compelling Anduin. Not Anduin. Uh, Anakin. That's who I'm thinking of. It's hard to say. Because I, there's so many. The themes of Warcraft Three are really cool to me. That thematically, Warcraft Three is amazing. I think we can all agree with that. The overall story told of a human kingdom succumbing to its prince and become and becoming overran by the undead, El and the undead basically just spreading. And taking over and consuming everything it comes across. And you be able to play as the undead, which is a cool dynamic. Because ordinarily you play as the good guys. No, in Warcraft 3, you're playing as the undead for part of that game. Then you also have the storyline of Thrall and the Horde, which is compelling. That's like that's the bit of the Horde lore that I fell in love with when I first started getting into WoW lore. That's why I went as Horde for so long. It's because the Horde story was compelling to me. Not so much the Alliance, but the Horde. And it's a storyline, I don't know why they can't freaking continue on with World of Warcraft. Like, I don't know what the hell they've been doing with the Horde recently, but just, it's not Warcraft 3 Horde. With the Horde and Warcraft 3, you get compelling characters, with compelling motives. Not always just completely good or completely bad, but there was topics, like a, topics, like real palpable topics that were covered with the Horde. Like, what does it mean to be free? Do you want to succumb to your uh, desires and all that? Like, talks about, like, a almost like borderline addiction with uh, demon blood. I don't know. It's just... Like, that bet's cool to me. I know I'm going to like the Night Elves, because I love Night Elf and stuff. It's just Malfurion and Toronto, whatever, because I really cared about that much. But at the same time... I don't know, it's weird, because it's like... The Alliance's story was never that overtly compelling. It was always you liked the Alliance because they were the typical Tolkien fantasy faction. But then you have Modern WoW, which is kind of like going in the direction of me caring more about the Alliance and the Horde at this point. Which is kind of like a flip from Warcraft 3. Because, like, the human characters in Warcraft 3 were not really that compelling when you think about it. Like, you had generic King Tyrannus. You had generic good guy Uther. You had Anakin Skywalker with Office. You had generic human doesn't like other people character with the guy they introduced in the Blood Elf campaign. I 
I'm just starting to come off of the characters from Warcraft 3, and I don't know if that's if just over time. I think Blizz got better telling stories, or I don't know. I think it's just that Blizzard was better at telling stories in StarCraft than they were with Warcraft, the RTS games. I don't know. Maybe as I continue playing it, it'll just come, I will think of it more amicably, and maybe it's just my jadedness from World of Warcraft starting to seep into Warcraft 3 as well. I kind of want to believe it's the latter. But again, I'm going to continue that series. We'll just see as it goes on. There's also like sections of Warcraft 3's campaign where it just like asks you to wait till you can actually start playing really. Like build your base and you wait for the base to be built. Which is not really compelling because you're just kind of sitting there. But yeah, so, I more I'll just keep rambling on. So, let's move on to Final Fantasy XIV, the game I'm playing right now. Alright, now, we are in World of Warcraft Shadowlands PT, uh, PTR, yeah. For the pre-patch, we're on my DK. Supposed to be walking, but for some reason, two forms as of walking. I don't get it either, but, oh well. Okay, so, don't care, don't care, death rising, talk to code. Get gray main. Here we go. Okay, so. Funnily enough, it just came from uh, Final Fantasy XIV for this video, but the next game I was, I've was i been playing with has been Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, not much to really talk about, just been leveling crafters, really. Only one I have left to level is my Weaver. How? How could I let this happen? Oh, yeah, so I guess. Uh, Shadowlands pre-patched spoilers ahead, I guess. I'm just gonna be playing this for a little bit. So. Yeah, so, not gonna really talk about Final Fantasy XIV much, cause there's not much really to say. Uh, Persona 4 Golden. For country, for family. Really good. I still really enjoy that game, love it. I love being able to just dip in and out of it. Because of how the the way the game works, I'm going to be talking about Persona in a later video. Once I finish Persona 4 Golden, and then play Persona 5 Royal. So, down the line, I have a video about Persona, I do. I and why I enjoy it so much. These abductions, the scourge attacks, the banshee yeah. pay for what she's done. What we I have coming, you. though, he will bring her is justice. Shadowlands in two months. So let's move on to the topic of the week. So, again, Shadowlands is launching October 27th, I believe, which is sooner than we kind of expected. Uh, when they started putting pre-patch stuff on the PTR, I was expecting probably late October, early November release date, and I was kind of on the money with that, I guess. I, have little to report, my I just hope they're able to finish it because I want to enjoy WoW is just... I don't know, maybe my taste is just changing. Maybe it's just me for a different audience than me. Greetings, friend. Which case that's like fine, obviously, but Victory in the light. I just hope I enjoy Shadowlands. I only go I love all five of the zones. None of your spies have Ma's a bit weak. Nizoth is out there and we need answers. I don't care about Nizoth. Uh oh, I went to the wrong place, okay. Yeah, like, the story for Shadowlands is eh, going into it, just because whatever the hell they did with Sylvanas' story leading into Shadowlands because of all of BFA was just eh, story-wise. But the zones and, like, the world they're building with the Shadowlands is so cool to me. I really like where they're going with this. And I just hope they're able to fully flesh it out and just tell a compelling story. I just hope they're able to do that. And make sure you bring Lieutenant Vernon up to speed before you return. Class design is better than I thought it was going to be because they revert most of the GCD change, which thank God. So yeah, I'm heavily considering maining Death Knight now, which I would love to be able to do. Um. Yeah, 
I don't know how I feel about Torghast, though. They keep changing the thing, so it's kind of hard to keep up with it. Especially when you don't have beta access, like I don't. Like, I don't have beta access. Can I help you? Which I did, but, oh well. Life goes on, as they say. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, there we go. Yeah, so... Coming, it's coming out in, like, less than two months. Like, we're in September... It's September 5th already, when I'm recording this, and when it's going up. And we do not have that much time left on the clock for this. I just hope it releases a complete state. Not buggy or anything. Because... I want to love Shadowlands. I just don't know how to feel about it. I'm hoping that once I get in there, I have a ton of fun, and all my fears, like, alleviated. I just hope so. The whole Covenant system is just a massive put-off, though. Because it's so antithetical to, like, what I like in game design. Especially for MMORPGs. Like, if that's the direction they want to go with WoW in the future... Cool, it just won't be for me. And I'll probably drop the game. Which is fine, like, so... We all grow, you know? Our gaming te preferences change. Sometimes games change in directions we don't like. But oh well, life moves on. Yeah, so that's kind of like what I'm feeling about Shadowlands is I'm... I feel like I'm more pessimistic about Shadowlands than I've been about any other expansion except maybe BFA going into it. I don't know, I'm just tired of Bard Power. Like, they announce all these things, soul binds, conduits, well covenant abilities. I'm just like, can I just have a class? Can I just have something to learn and to master and to play? Like, it's such a put off for wanting to do anything higher end in this game. Because of all the miscellaneous crap they asked you to do. Granted, I think they're cutting back on a lot of it for Shadowlands. But it's just like all this ball of power. It's like Call of Duty freaking loadouts. Kind of. Like, deck out your class. I'm like, can I just have my class? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. In which case, fair enough, but... I don't know what to say, really. Oh, this game... Oh, this is freaking lagging. Okay, so kill 12 scourge, so... Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be it for me for now. I'm gonna try and go into the Shadowlands as optimistic as I can, as I can be. Give it as much benefit of the doubt as I possibly can, because I want to enjoy it. But if I don't, we'll move on to other games and greener pastures elsewhere. Which is fine, there's a ton of great MMOs coming up in the market. Well, supposedly great. I don't think New World and Ashes of Creation are for me necessarily, but there are probably other games that will also come out. Also, we have a ton of games coming out, like, in a couple of weeks, we have that Super Mario 3D bundle, you know we're gonna be playing that. Like, Frame 1, we're playing that. I'm really excited for that one. I never played Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario 64, Sunshine, or Galaxy. I watched some of them, and if there's anything, like, Odyssey, I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of them. I loved Odyssey so much. It was such a good game. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. There's a ton of games coming up that I'm really looking forward to playing. I want to play some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. I keep saying I'll do it, and I play, like, once, and I back out for, like, a month. Just, I don't know why. It's just, it's because it's on a console. I guarantee you that's the reason. It's like, I never just feel like the desire just to boot up the console for some reason, because I'm always on PC. It's a weird mental thing I'm trying to get through. I don't know. So, that'll be it for me for the week. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if you liked the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. We have some more Warcraft 3 Reforged. We have some more Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We got some more Modern Warfare. And we got some more... F whatever else I feel like playing coming up on the channel. So, stay safe out there. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, what the hell's the freaking... There we go. Bye-bye, everybody.